It's what I do. I break out in conversations. Used to upset my school teachers and principal, but yeah, yeah. how did I know at that age I was going to be in radio, right? <laughs> Arrow.net. A-R-R-O-E dot net. Let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people. Real stories. Episode number 440 is with author and actress Melissa Gilbert. Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Absolutely fantastic. Got to ask you a question about the flow of the book, only because I'm a daily writer. It feels like that you just let us inside your daily journals. There's so much incredible information, emotion. Everything about this book is like a, a picture of today. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. That's a very, very, very high compliment indeed. I so appreciate it. Um, I, 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 I set about writing this memoir sort of that way. I wanted it to be relatable and accessible and I just wanted it to be, uh, me. It was such a profound, the, the last 12 years have been profound and full of change, but the last two to three really have been something else as we've all experienced between the pandemic and then that summer of the racial reckoning and the the social awakening and isolation and lockdown Mm -hmm. and trying to find our way through and now here we are and dealing with all of the stuff that's going on around us at all times i i i wanted to share um what it was like for me especially and my husband and our family Mm -hmm. and i wanted people to know that they're not alone in any of it, in anything they go through, there's always someone who's been there. And we have to remember that now as we're coming back out and reaching back out to each other, how to be human and how to be loving and how to have community and how to have all of the things that we had before. My, my mantra is share your story or someone will write it for you. And I think that's the reason why I've embraced this book back to the prairies, because you are sharing your story. And that's, that's, what's great about this. Yes, it's it's straight from the horse's mouth. It, it is it is one hundred percent from me, um, and it's about my life and um, and my experiences. None of which are unique to me. Ultimately, by the way, um, you know we've all been through loss. We've all been through change. We we're all aging. Mm-hmm. It, it's a collective universal experience, and I just wanted to to share that with people. Well, it also showcases how real you are, because I mean, you've got things in here. When what we, what you're looking for is real love, then what you see is what you get. That's a very touching chapter because you really do open up and say, "Oh my God, she she's just one of us." Well, that that was my hope, and I'm I'm glad you you saw it that way. And yeah, I I. Um, you know, I'm at this extraordinary place in my life now where I'm really, I, I, I've, I've left Los Angeles. I've uh, allowed myself to grow into myself. I've mm-hmm. stopped coloring my hair. There's no filler and Botox in my face. I'm just 100% me. And I'm married to this extraordinary man, Tim Busfield. We have this wonderful partnership. And now we have this wonderful home and all these kids and grandkids. And I just, I wanted to to share that with people. And I wanted especially to let women of a certain age know that not only is it okay to age, but we really need to celebrate that this is who we are and and really force people to see us as uh, as we are, these forces to be reckoned with. You know, there's, there's nothing more incredible than um, a wise, uh, centered, grounded woman, really. Do you feel like you're a messenger in the way that you're that people do need to be grounded and and the way that the the, the language you speak is through the everyday experience? I don't know about being a messenger. That seems like a lot of responsibility. How about <laughs> how about just just another human being out there sharing my my experience and and hoping that other people will find it meaningful and will share their experience back. I actually created a lifestyle line that goes with the book, which people can find at www.modernprairie.com, which is exactly a place where we can come together to share these experiences. And, and primarily, it's also there to celebrate and uplift women 45 and older and give us a forum to share all of this stuff, whether it's crafting or cooking or wellness or mental health or uh, physical well-being, whatever it is we're going through, this is a place to celebrate that and to share the things that we love. And so um, 
I don't know if I'm a messenger so much as <laughs> as a participant. Well, I, I hope it inspires, well, especially women as well as men, to start writing their story down. And the reason why I say that is because I, I don't know my mother's full story. And, and I'm not ever going to get to know because we, we lost her this year. But with you, I mean, this is something you dedicated this book to your grandchildren. So therefore, I know they're going to carry it forward to their grandchildren. I, I certainly hope so. And, you know, one of and I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your mother's passing. Um, we lost my grandmother a couple of years ago at 101. Mm. And one of the things that I really wanted to do before she passed was to tape record her telling some of her stories. And I didn't get around to doing that. And now I'm 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 determined to do that with my mother, who is uh, 86 at this point. And because I want those stories to be put away. Um, for posterity to share with my kids and grandkids and their kids and their kids so they know their origin stories. And um, I hope this book will provide them with a bit of an origin story about me. Did you get to answer a lot of your questions in, let's say, even the chapter, Ask Me in the Morning? Because, I mean, there, there's some honest-to-God questions here that I know that are going to transfer into the eyes and hearts of your readers because, I mean, it's you know human skills are a big thing, but you you put it out there. Yeah, there are. There are a lot of um, ask me again in the morning was actually about our my marriage proposal from Tim, mm -hmm. which is to be specific. But there are a lot of I did. I, I questioned a great deal during lockdown and especially that summer following when everyone was out protesting and um, and we were watching this this sort of racial uh, reckoning and social awakening in the country. I really spent a lot of time reflecting on what my part was, what I could be better at, what I could do better and how lucky I really, really am and how privileged I am. I have four sons mm -hmm. and I never had to sit down and tell them how to handle a traffic stop. Just the assumption that they would get a ticket or not get a ticket, mm -hmm. you know, and that's 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 something that I don't want to ever take for granted again. And so I'm constantly I think that's one of the one of the things that 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 I love most in people is a curiosity and a willingness to learn. Yep. That to me is so admirable. I have I have that a great deal. I don't think I know I don't know everything. And um and so consequently, people who are the opposite who think they know everything, and I won't name names, but some of them <laughs> are in and have been in very powerful positions of leadership mm -hmm. that don't want to hear any information from anyone. I, I I not only have no respect for that, it makes me very nervous yep. because I think curiosity is uh, a wonderful asset and something we should celebrate. And I think one of the greatest things we can do as people is say, I don't know. Let me learn about That's that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Please come back to this show anytime in the future. Melissa, the door is always going to be open for you. Uh, bless you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? I want you too.